Welcome to Kickstarter Unboxed, where we highlight the latest on Kickstarter. This is Greg Valoria, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. We're here at the famous Galvanized Cafe here in San Francisco talking with Gilad Litter, co founder of OTM Technologies and developer of Free, to learn about his exciting technology. Let's listen in. My name is Gilad Litterer, and I'm co founder and co CEO of OTM Technologies the company that invented uh, Free. So Free is a mobile input device, essentially, that works with any device, uh, and you operate just by writing on any surface. It can be the back of your hand, your lap, uh, any tabletop, whatever, and you interact with any digital device that you may have. It can be your smartphone, your watch, your PC, your TV at home basically anything and everything, and you perform any function. You navigate, point and click, enter text, doodle, game, even sign your own name. Well, we, um, we actually invented the technology first. So we invented this OTM sensor that we have. Uh, this is a tiny sensor that measures motion in three dimensions of any object in space. And uh, we realized that we just found the missing link. We found the key to enable uh, a free-like device, a stylus that works on any surface. Because when we put the OTM sensor at the tip of free, we can now measure the tip motion relative to any surface in three dimensions. This is what allows you to do natural handwriting in any language. Well, I think a key word is mobility. The fact that you are unconstrained. You can write anywhere. You don't need a screen. You don't even need a touch screen. You're unconstrained by the size of the screen, by the location of the screen. You can interact with a TV that's five meters from you. You are unconstrained by the type of surface that you need. You don't need any external hardware. We measure motion, the motion of the tip directly relative to the surface. We don't need any external hardware or special paper or anything to be able to do that. So you really can interact on the go and with any device and with the proliferation of Internet of Things and wearable devices and virtual reality, suddenly you, you have a very convenient and natural way and personal way to interact with all these devices. Two things. One of the technological side actually processes processing power increased so much over the last decade that now we are comfortably processing the, um, the optical signal information that we're getting from the OTM sensor and turning it into tracking information. But even more important, what evolved was the market. So over 10 years ago, if you can imagine the world over 10 years ago, there were no smartphones, as strange as it sounds. <laughs> there were no wearables. Um, there was no Internet of Things. There wasn't, there wasn't tablets. You know? So there was PC. And for a PC, you have a pretty, pretty good solution between a keyboard and a mouse. You work very well. In fact, I type on keyboard much faster than I write. It's when all these mobile devices came in and we became, on one hand, uh, addicted to information and having to have information on the go wherever we are, but also to interaction, to be able to communicate wherever we are and on the go and with everything. So not only do we want to consume information, but we want to consume that information that we need and be able to respond and Move back. If anything, what even augmented this trend in the last year or two is the need for personal communication. People don't want anymore just to send a text or even a smiley. They want to express their feelings through written words. And what can be better than handwrite or sketch or draw a heart or a flower and send it together with your sketch? You can't do this on, on a small screen, not even on a six-inch screen with your finger. But you can do it 
with free because you create digital ink directly to your phone or your watch or your PC or whatever and send this away. In, in, in fact, this is a great question because it's one of the reasons that we started the company. We started the free again last year. One was that we felt that the market was there, but the other was the crowdfunding platform. We felt that there is suddenly a way for us to validate our vision and our dream by going directly to consumers and getting their feedback. And, and we couldn't hope for a better feedback. We are two and a half weeks from the end of the campaign. We just launched less than a month ago, and we have more than 3,500 backers on our campaign. So it's, it's a wonderful feeling to see our vision being validated by such a large crowd of people who are very supportive, giving us really, really insightful feedback on what they need, what they expect, what they would want to have. Uh, by the way, I should mention that one of the drivers that took us in down this path was another Israeli company called Sayo, Consumer Physics, who launched exactly a year ago a Kickstarter campaign which was a phenomenal raving success. They raised $2.7 million also on an optical gadget, very different from ours, but an optical gadget that connects through phone and allows you to identify any, any material. This is a, a wonderful company with a beautiful product. They're going to start shipping in a month and we are gladly trying to follow their tracks. The biggest challenge is to get your message across. Is to try in a three minutes video and a single page to get people to understand what it is that you want to do, what it is that you can do, and why it is that you think that it's going to change the world, at least a little bit, and get them to engage uh, with you in your vision. We've had, I haven't looked at the latest statistics, but well over a quarter of a million views of our video. Uh, this in itself is, is really heartwarming. So even if l most of the people didn't buy into the idea, but the fact that they took some of their time to listen to our story, to our vision, and to engage with it to the extent that they will sit the whole video and, and listen to it is wonderful. Now that's most probably going to be assembled and manufactured in China. Uh, the core optical sensor, the OTM tracking engine that we have, we may keep that closer to us so we have better control on the process. There is a, a complete and very, very complex optical system embedded in this tiny sensor. Uh, tolerances are extremely well calculated and uh, we want to make sure that this works perfectly. Our target shipping date is to start March 2016, so less than 10 months from now. It was 10 months when we started. We're very, very busy in parallel to the campaign, also working on the production design and, the, and planning because we need to ship a lot of products now to our backers. Being convincing enough and being able to explain well enough what it is that we want to do that so many thousands of people will add, actually engage with us in this journey and will build this community, that's just superb. So it's been, it's been a wonderful experience over the last month.